Hello, San Clemente friends and neighbors. The summer housing market is quickly approaching an end here. We only have one month left. Are there gonna be more homes on the market? It's possible, but let's take a look at how the last month of activity has stacked up so far. Hey there, it's Ryan Schramm. I am the broker and owner of Ryan Schramm Real Estate here in San Clemente. The goal of this housing market update is to give you simple bite-sized statistics that will help you keep your finger on the pulse as to how our market is doing in San Clemente overall. So the way that I do that, I have seven key statistics that I'm gonna quickly go through. Let's jump in. First thing we're gonna look at, demand. That's the number of pending sales over the month prior. Let's take a look at Orange County as a whole. Demand is really sitting tight. It's pretty much the same as last month, roughly 1,600 homes in escrow. So if you take a look at last year, 2022, this time demand was 6% higher, not that big of a spread. But if we look at the three year span from 2017 to 2019, demand was roughly 60% higher than it is today. The second thing we're gonna look at is the active inventory. That's really made up of homes that are available to purchase. So it could be a active listing or a coming soon listing. Right now in San Clemente, as of July 25th, there are 105 available homes. Last month, there were 109 available homes. And if we look at a snapshot of the last seven days, there have been 11 new listings and five listings have fell out of escrow or they were in some kind of hold status and they've come back on the market. The third key statistic we're gonna check out, price reductions. One of my favorite because it's a good indicator of where buyers and sellers are out and how sellers are pricing their homes relative to how buyers feel about the market. So out of the 104 active listings on the market in San Clemente, we've seen 20 price reductions in the last seven days. Now that's the most we've seen in quite a while. So if you're watching this and you're wondering why there's more price reductions right now, reach out to me, give me a call and I can explain further, especially if you're gearing up to put your house on the market. All right, so out of those 20 listings, one of them is a home in the Cotton Point Estate community and there's nothing in there really under $10 million. So it had a million dollar price reduction. So for the average, I took that one out just because it would skew the numbers. So really we've got 19 price reductions in the last seven days for an average of $92,000 each. All right, the fourth key stat we're gonna look at, interest rates. Now the rates have continued to fluctuate all over the place. Currently, they're back up again right now. My lender's quoting 6.875% for a conforming interest rate. If you look at last month, that rate was down at 6.375%, so kind of a big swing there. And then if we look at the non-conforming rates, those were 6.625% last month, and they're the same this month at 6.625%. Stat number five, the closed sales. Let's take a look at what's happened the last three months. May, there were 52 closed sales. June, there were 52 closed sales. And July, to date, 37 closed sales. Key stat number six, expected market time. What does that mean? That's simply the time it takes to sell a home from when you put the sign in the ground to when it goes into escrow. Now that we have to differentiate the price points, right? So we've got $1 million to $2 million homes. They're currently selling in about 41 days. That represents an extremely hot seller's market. That's a quick, quick sale time. And that price point, one to two million, represents 34% of all of the homes in Orange County. Now the next price range, $2 million to $4 million homes, that expected market time is up a little bit. That's in the 80 day range. Now 80 days is still a slight seller's market. And that price point represents about 18% of all of the available homes in Orange County. And the seventh thing we're gonna take a look at, it's not really a statistic, but it's important to recognize what selling season we're in because real estate sells differently based on the season. And right now, we are in the summer market. There's only one month left before that changes into the autumn or fall market. So what typically happens towards the end of the summer market, kids go back to school, people get back from vacations, and they focus back in on their work or their priorities like buying a home. So for sellers who are gearing up to list their home in this last tail end of the summer market before we get into the autumn market, pricing the house realistically is crucial because there's a nice little window left before we get into that Halloween Halloween and Thanksgiving holiday season where you can fetch a good price and get good activity 
But if you price the home unrealistically right off the bat and you get into that 60, 90, 100 days on market and then you find yourself in the holiday season when activity really dwindles, that's where you don't wanna be. And for my buyers out there right now, really important to look at the mortgage interest rates. You've gotta talk with a good lender and kind of see where your payment's gonna be and make sure if you have your eye on a property, lock that interest rate. If you have more questions about that or how that process works, you can always reach out to me. I'm just a text away. I look forward to hearing from you. Take care.